Now, if you're in the market for a new platform completely, you're probably going with Intel or AMD. And you've got a number of choices when it comes to the top CPUs. Intel, it would be the Core Ultra 9 285, maybe a 265K as well. And with AMD, you've got the Ryzen 9 9900X and the 9950X. Of course, the 98... 100 x 3d is coming and then the 9950x 3d as well and certainly the 9950x 3d is a processor that a lot of people are waiting for including myself now this particular article here and i will link to this in the youtube description down below make sure you go over and check it out is a very comprehensive review but they are reviewing the Ryzen 9 9900X, which is a CPU that's not quite the top, but it's almost there, and it's reasonably priced. So a lot of people have their eye on this processor. So I'm going to sum this article up really quickly. But again, remember to go over here because there is all kinds of excellent information about this processor that you need to look into if you're going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this particular CPU because there's no point in picking it up if you don't think it's going to be fast enough for you. So what is this CPU good at? Well, it's good at pretty much everything. However, if you are a gamer and you spend most of your time on your computer gaming or maybe this system, then I don't think I would get it. I would wait for the 9800X 3D or the 9950X 3D because as we know from, well, the past, the X 3D processors have been very good and the new ones will be even better from what I have read about them. So we'll have to wait and see about that, but it looks like they're going to be anywhere from 10 to maybe 25% faster. It depends on the game and the resolution and all the rest of it. However, uh, this is a CPU that has 12 cores, 24 threads. It is also good at multi-threaded tasks like video editing, but also it's pretty good at single-threaded performance for gaming. And that's what you want. You want something that you can, you know, kind of use for work. And you can have some fun playing games on it. But it's not going to be super strong when it comes for gaming. And that is a little bit of a disappointment. Now, of course, you could also go with the 9950X. And that's going to be a little bit faster than this one. And of course, you can tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and get it to a point where it does perform a little bit better. But with all of these threads and cores, it really has no problem handling just about anything that you can throw at it. So what do you think about this particular processor? Are you picking one up or are you waiting for the new processors and specifically probably waiting for the X3D CPUs to come out?